So this is part two. All the front end, I wired up last night and got everything working. Now I'm gonna get the tanking seat off. Get to the CDI, because there's three wires cut, what on, joined on there. And then join them and check for a spark. And if I get a spark, take the airfill out, because I haven't got a snorkel in. The tank off. There's the three wires what I've got to join. I don't know if I showed them on yesterday's video, but that's one of them what it goes to, which will be that black one. That's for the head. For the, for the temperature sender, there should be two more wires under here. There's one of them, black and white. And that black and white will go to there. And we're just looking, so we're just looking for a blue and a yellow one. Which is there, so we'll join that up with there. And there's these two wires here as well. That's where one of them wires goes. So we're looking for a blue and white wire. So I've looked all over for the the blue and white wire, what joins to that. And there's no blue and white wire here. But what I've done, I've took this off this one and there's the two the two wires coming out of this state. You can see a different colour. And they're going up to there, look. Blue and red there. What's on that bike back there? And there's there's the red and white one. What's on that bike behind us? But it's got a black one joining to the blue and white wire. So I'm gonna keep following the. See there, there's the red wire. With a CDI, and that one behind hasn't got this sleeve on. But this black wire. What joins here, what joins to the blue and white wire down here on that one behind this black wire must must double up or something somewhere. So I'm gonna have to take the CDI off this and check it because in there, look where my finger is. You just see, I see two wires together. I'm certain there's two wires going to one plug, but I'm not too sure, but I'm positive. But so we'll get this off. Get all the other wires right, rigged up. They're all ready to rig up anyway. It's just this one's causing the mission. Like them two coming out of there. Which I've already showed it. So I'm not going about it again. But anyway, there's, that's all the prop wiring on this one. See, there's the free wire plug. Which I think I showed in the other video. That's for the power valve servo. This one hasn't got one on. Got the rear of them servos. They're free wire ones. But there's all the other plugs, they're all there on that CDI. That one there. But like we've got the black and the white one there. Can't see it gives me right there. We've got the black and the white one there. What needs to join on the bike behind us going to a black and white one. I think the one behind us has got a blue and yellow one. What needs joining up? And the green, that green and red one there. What needs joining up? But I can see I'll just whip that off and I'm just gonna go and take the dogs out. Then when I come back, I'll get this CDI done. Then we'll check for a spark. And if it's sparking, I'm, it's been sat for four years, so I'm gonna. It's got no snorkel on as well so i don't know if it's got in there so i'm going to be clean the air filter out clean the carb out clean the reeds out before i start it because i'll try to even attempt to start it because i don't know what the the air filter is like if it's going to pull anything through into the reeds it's better to clean them than to just try and then have to clean it again so anyway when i get back we'll get this we'll get this black wire here sorted closer look there it is look there's the red wire and there's the black wire should have been looking for where it curls up there into this sleeve so it goes up there so it's cable tied on so i'll have to get it off but it's going up there the black one in in it's in amongst these sleeves somewhere 
Let me see, have a look when we get back. And I've got this CDI as well. This is just one I've had ages. But there's the black wire there as well. There's the red and white wire. What goes into the flywheel casing. So I can see it's coming up there. That black wire must must join onto something. Anyway, I'll, I'll see. I'll get it sorted when I come back. It won't take too long because, like I see, I've got to put one to copy off, and then even when I sell that white and red one, and I haven't got one to copy off, at least I can go back and look at this video. So that's all the cable ties off the. CDI on this bike by looking at it, I can see there, you can see the two double blacks just going to that one black there. That's for, like I said before, that's for the pole valve servo. Maybe a loose one there, that goes to the pole valve servo as well, with the yellow stripe one. So, this is what the, the problem is here. There's the blue and white, I think it's the blue and either there's the the white and red and the blue and white we're looking for the blue and white like I say it goes to a black which is there look this black's running down there and it doesn't run into the CDI look it runs back up here and it must be coming up here and I think that's it there and when I said before joined together in a two into one and it joins into there, so that spare black one I need has to be attached to that. So I'm going to take this CDI off now and copy all this on that on that one there. So that's a CDI on this bike. I'm just going to disconnect it and find out how to rig that black wire up on it, which is that one. I'll put some of these terminals on what needs to go onto this one. But when I've pulled the CDI off, I knew that was slack, but both the brackets are broke. So I doubt the servo motor will work properly, like opening and closing properly, if that's offline. But it might. But I'll take the exhaust off and check the exhaust when I turn the key on and off to see if it's opening and closing properly when you turn the key. Because when you turn the key and leave it, it stops it fully open if it stops it the wrong way it means that it's not set up properly let's see it's all see, it's all wobbly that so that's the cdi off this bike now just gonna have to put some plugs in there wherever the wires are and put new plugs on here there's the white and red wire watch on the, the good cdi off the the clean bike up there. There's the white and red wire, and this is all black. So this black is going to go down there, run up there, and it joins with that black. And if you look, that black what's joining here to the stator. There's a stator plug. That black wire doesn't go into the CDI. I think I mentioned this just before. It doesn't go into the CDI. It just goes around there and loops, loops up onto here. There's a black and white one comes out, but that's the black and white one. There's a black and yellow one. I think it's black and yellow. Can I see? Hi there, black that's the black and yellow one, which is there for the power valve servo. Be a black and red one. That should be coming out the CDI itself. There it is, there's the black and red one. And there's one black solid black wire coming out the CDI that's probably the one that goes up to there and here what then joins onto there runs back down there doubles up and goes up there to there so we'll just do that with this one we'll just have a quick check there's the black solid wire there's the black and white wire there's the black and yellow wire the pole valve servo motor it, it needs rigged up on this one because this one's got the servo motor on there's the black and white wire what comes out the cdi unit and there's the black and red one what comes out the cdi unit so we'll get all this rigged up i'll get some some bullet connectors like this all put onto these wires and copy it 
And the one in the... And the one in the kitchen on the bench as well. Well, off, I may put plugs on that one as well and just give that CDI a quick test. Just to see if it works. And you can see there, look, that's black and yellow. That goes to power valve, servo. Look, somebody's put that blue wire in as an extension. So I'll maybe just take that blue wire off. If, it, if that reaches the CDI, uh, power valve motor plug. So we'll do that now. That's the two CDIs. Best thing to do just before you do anything. If, if you can see on camera, that I can. That was joined together with tape round. And I could have just left it, but you don't know what the connection's like underneath. It's best to, if any wires are joined with tape, it's best to take the tape off and check the connection. And we'll wire that up properly and put some heat shrink over it. And with these plugs, I haven't got these proper plugs to go into this CDI. But I've got the, got them, maybe two plugs there, I've got them with a proper crimper, so I'll just crimp that up, and I'll just show how to put the proper plugs, crimp them on onto these, so you've got one of them like that, a little brass thingy, I haven't used this for a while. It'll click that, just get it to there like that, so that's in and just leave that and we'll, we'll put this plug on the green and white and the black and red one so there's the green and white, there's the black and red to get your wires I've cut them, stripped them so the wires all fresh and then just bend it back like that so it's got like a little loop at the top See, I'll just put it in front of the camera, push that into there. And you can see the, the loop just nip pushing through there now, and just crimp it up. It clicks, uh, it's nipped. Watch when I let loose. There, it's done. Just pop that out. And that's that done. Oh, let's check if it's tight. And these little wires, when I push it into here. These ones go into uh, that connector. Push it in here, make sure this wire isn't too long. I've left it a bit too long, but it won't matter. That wire won't stick out. Like if the wire was to here, it'll be sticking out here and maybe it's touched something. But just push it in there. You've got your little tang there. That little tang clips over something inside. It's like a bob, like a hook on a fishing hook. It keeps it from pulling out. I'll just show now. You'll hear it click in. Watch. Yeah, click in. And there's no wires coming out, the, no bare copper wire coming out the bottom. Which is good. So we'll get the black and red one. I'll maybe chop a, a little bit that much off the end. Just so there's no copper wire coming out the end this time. So I've cut the end, bent it over like I did with the green wire just slip that into the tool again yeah. and I'll just crimp it just pop it out it's tiny a little bit but that won't be sticking out the end of the plug you see the little bit wire but just give it a test it's all nice and tight and then we just push that one into there like that It clicks and that's that's in so that's one done I just do love I don't need to do those on camera I just thought I'd like to show them the people just just to help them out to show them because they're the best I used to use plies to nip stuff up and then when I used to see these sort of terminals on bikes I used to always think how is that terminal like crimp on the wires like professionally but all it is is just a proper crop a crimping tool off eBay. I think it's thirty pound. Anyway, less of the less of the talk. I'll get this over. I'll get this rigged up. I mean, like this other one. I'm just gonna quickly show this just before I put the rest of the plugs on. Like that. These are the two wires. What I said before, I had tape round them. When I pulled them, they just come apart. So always check. Like I said before as well. 
I do keep forgetting what I'm saying. Repeat myself, but if I've got tape round there, pull them and check them because, like I say, it just pulled apart. Anyway, get a bit heat shrink, put that over there, and split the wire into the two like that, like that, and you've already got them two split like that. Push them out the way, make that one up the way. That's that bit nipped up, and then get the bit what's left, nip them two together, and fold it over, just put the heat shrink over, and then once the heat shrink's over, I'll heat it up, and then we'll put a bit of tape round just in case, because it's not that thick, that stuff, it's still thick, but it's a bit tape, will just give it a bit of strength. The heat. That's that all heat shrunk up now. Just put a bit of tape on the middle. It's alright, but like I said, a bit of tape just for security. So that's the coil wheel. So that's the coil wire heat shrunk with a bit of tape on for more protection. I'll just put that plug on the red and white one. There's the solid black one from the coil. So I need to put another black one into there and down here and then run it up here and join it into here to a bullet connector. Like that one I probably showed a couple of times in the video but the more detail the better. It's not as if you're wasting your time watching them because it's handy to know about these CDRs because CDRs, they're always cut. Right, so we'll get that done now with a bullet connector. And I've got no black wire lying about, so for the black wire what runs from there and doubles up with this bullet connector. I'm just going to use this bit blue. I've already put the connector on, just push that in, it clicks. And I've got a bullet connector on there, join them two together. That's it done. Everything rigged up. New connector there. And connect with there. Got them three bullet connectors and that bullet connector. Just the same as that one. Just hasn't got the sleeve down here. Maybe put a bit of tape round there to keep it still like this. I've got that one still, I'll do that when, I, when I've got time because I'm gonna finish this off. Right so now I'm gonna go and trim two of these plugs on the the stator wires on the bike. So just plug straight in and we'll get the CDI on, get the spark plug out, check for the spark. So that's all the CDI on now. It's on a bit tight, I kind of get it on there. It's because the harness is rooted wrong. It's rooted up there and through there. And it comes up here, it should be going down there under the mud guard, but it's got one of them daft YZ mud guards on. I'll spoil them so I'm going to try and get it down there because it should run down there down the side of the radiator then up here where my finger is here and then up here but anyway we'll just leave that for now so we've got that plug on there Let me cut away there make sure there's no bare wire behind we've got that plug on there that plug was already on Put the new bullet connector there, blue and yellow to blue and yellow. Got the orange on the coil. Got that that new connector on the black and green to the black and green to the black and red to the black and red. There's the two double blacks. It should be a double black, but if you've seen before, I've just added that wire. And that goes into the single earth, the single black wire there. What solid black? Blue and yellow to blue and yellow. Just put that connector on. I think I've just mentioned the black and white and the black and white. I've got that connector rigged up down there, that four way one. So now I'll just get the spark plug out and see if it sparks. And that'll be it for this video. And then tomorrow, if it sparks, I'll get the 
airfield out, as I said before. Carb off and clean it because it's stood for four years. Checking the reeds as well. That's it, really. But we'll get that spot plug out now. That's the plug out. Black like that. So we'll give it a try now. Get it done. Get in the spot plug cap. I've got an earth there on the head. I'm not going to wind the throttle on. I'm going to let the slide be steered down. So if it does suck anything in, it's not going to get past the slide because I'm not winding the throttle on. The slide will be dropped down, blocking anything coming through here. Because the, the air filter's all crusty and that in there. You can see there's bits and everything. So anyway, let's... The battery's not connected. I'll connect the battery up. So that's the battery on. Fingers crossed, we'll get a spark. So I'm not going to touch the throttle. He hasn't got the proper run button. I would normally turn that on or off, but should be all right. So here it goes. Let's see. I'll turn that spark plug around. Turn the torch off. Actually, I'll be able to see better. That's it. Yes. So that's happy about that. So as I said before, tomorrow air filter out, carb off, clean the carb, it's been stuck for you. Take the reeds off and check them. Um I'll get all this CDI rooted up properly if I can, because some of the wires are short. Like I say, I've just done it just to test it, but now I know everything's right. I've got all the front end rigged up, which is good. That's rigged up. Mint spark. Half the battles run all right. Thanks for watching this video, because I know CDIs are a big problem on these, especially with cut plugs, but this video will show you everything. You're not wasting your time watching my videos. I, I, I don't sit and talk looking at the camera and or nothing like that, talking nonsense. I'll just get straight into it. But thanks for watching anyway.